Now, I'll tell you somebody who has been trying to die in office, and that's fucking Republican Senator Mike Lee. And this was this morning at the Amy Coney Barrett hearings where he is still positive for coronavirus unless he is well, like the president, has had some kind of miracle cure. He should still be positive for coronavirus, and here he is at the hearings for the Supreme Court justice nominee. At a particular meeting on the day of their enactment for their incorporation into the... Without a mask sitting, that doesn't look like six feet, but I'm sure he's sitting next to another Republican. I would hope the other Democrats are virtual or sitting on the other side of the room. I, if you told me that a Trump kiss could cure me of coronavirus, even if I was in a hospital bed on a respirator with a fucking bedpan under my ass, I would not let Trump kiss me. Absolutely not. Let's just make that perfectly clear, okay? I'll even say it to the other side. I would not let Trump kiss me. and that's your job. And yet, if you were watching today's hearing and some of the statements made by some of my colleagues, in fact, if you were to look at any of the uh, countless posters put up in here, you'd think that this was a political discussion, a policy discussion, a legislative discussion. You, in fact, are not being reviewed for a legislative position or a policy-making position. You're being reviewed for a position on our nation's highest court, or you'll be asked from time. I to just time coronavirus, to cases coronavirus, based based all over vaccine. the place. I'm just spraying it all over this the dais. This is dais. not something that should result, or properly should be considered by us, as something that requires us to examine whether, to what extent, in what way, you have compassion for any of the individuals depicted in these photos. I'm certain, just based on my limited interaction with you, that you have compassion for all people. But this isn't the question, nor is the question before us, whether you would agree or disagree as to any particular policy embedded with... What well, he has, like, drolled on for at least a minute. I'm pretty sure my timestamp started at 2.45. And he has said absolutely nothing. Or maybe he has, and I was just focused on the fact that he's spitting all over the dais with his fucking infected ass. And I feel sorry for all the workers that are there in the Capitol building that have to put up with this nonsense from these dumbass Republicans. Within any particular statute, you understand that this isn't your job. Not as a judge on the U.S. Court <clears throat> of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit where you now sit nor would it be if you were to confirm to be confirmed as an associate justice to the United States Supreme Court. One might also have the impression from watching this morning's proceedings so far that the Supreme Court of the United States is a remarkably bitter, cynical, and overwhelmingly partisan place. It is not. I, like... Doesn't he come like, isn't he using adjectives that you would use to describe him in this hearing? Bitter and partisan. Cynical. You and I have both clerked at the U.S. Supreme Court, and we both know that if you actually look at the numbers, you'll see something remarkable. Despite its flaws, and despite the fact that it sometimes makes mistakes, the Supreme Court of the United States sits atop something that is the envy of the entire world. A judicial system that, despite the fact that it's run by human beings and therefore is imperfect. Like, this is just flower, flowery language that means absolutely nothing. This motherfucker just, yep, 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 about goddamn, he used 11 minutes with his opening statement. He drug his coronavirus-infected ass out of bed 
and drove to the Capitol building so that he could try to say some shit for a campaign ad. That's exactly what that was. He wanted sound bites. You can tell by the way he phrased his shit. He, he was attempting to say something that would get played on the news, and he was attempting to say something that he could use in one of his ads. 